Hello everyone. Last time when we left off, I was still building the interconnecting cables between the battery modules for my next uh, power wall. So this time you can see that I have all of them finished. They're ready to go and I hope they will do a good job. Now on to the next thing. Now, in the big scheme of things, I did finish the top of my next power wall. I think this will give a bit of better picture. What a video of what I did previously. This time I decided to simplify things. These are the things that are going to be installed for the power wall. On the right, we do have that BMS that I'm using right now and I'm happy with. Next thing is Noctua fan for the exhaust and ventilation of the power wall then we have a little battery voltage monitor it's not going to measure the capacitor or anything like that it's just going to give me a, a reminder of uh, what uh, what the battery temperature is and uh, what a battery voltage at that moment of time is next thing is the uh, uh, fan control with the temp sensor Next thing is a uh, DC to DC converter. This converter, I know many of you are going to look at it and say that's an overkill. Yes, I know it's overkill. I want it that way. Um, I hope uh, with the minimum load, they will provide me many years of service. And then the bottom side of the switch. Later on, we'll take a look at it and see how does it work. And uh, we'll go from there. Next thing is, I built this uh, bus bar that has integrated shunt on itself. So on the right side of it, where it says upside down B negative, is where all the battery negatives from the power walls will connect. And then the negatives from the inverters will be at where it says upside down P negative. In the middle, of course, is the shunt that it's used to monitor battery capacity. And it's made by Renogy. And this is what I did. Combine it all. It's held solid. And it will be inside of this giant box. I decided to go by uh, with this 12 by 12 by 6 box so I can house the DC breakers and that Renogy battery monitor. Um, of, obviously, I don't have it hooked up now. I did have it hooked up for a test run. It works very well. I'm pleased with it. And on the side, since I'm going to have a three power walls, or planning to have three power walls, and I'm going to have at least two, uh, those are going to inputs for positive and negative of each power wall. Okay, for the next thing, we will look how this works. Uh, the fan control and the, uh, the setup, the, the temperature setup for exhaust fan. Just a second. Here we go. This is my trusty little uh, power unit, power supply. It is set at maximum at 32.5 volts. Uh, this is what it's supplying the voltage to the whole setup of the power wall. So we'll move on from there. As we saw over there, the unit was set up at 32.5 volts. That's the max. Over here, I don't think it's going to be visible very well, but it does show 12.2 volts. That's where I set it up because that's a 12 volt fan. Of course, you can do more. And then the temperature control unit uh, right now is showing 21.8 degrees Celsius. And, and in the phone, the, the cooling will turn on at 25 degrees. This little unit works from 6 to 30 volts with a couple of amps of draw through itself. Uh, this is in a relay. This is a relay that can draw couple of amps across itself so far it's proven to be good so maybe you guys want to see how this works so let's simulate 
let's simulate temperature increase on this. It should kick on at 25 degrees Celsius. We are raising the temperature, waiting for it to come to 25 degrees, and it should kick in. It is on. Temperature is rising. I'm going to remove my hand, body heat. Temperature will start going down. We can accelerate that part by maybe putting this right here. And then as soon as it gets down to below 25 degrees, it should kick out and it will turn itself off. Here it is. It is off at this point. So, this will be my control for the power wall. And of course over here we'll see where those wires are going to come out and be combined in that big electrical box that I'm working with. So let's do one more thing. Here's the inside of the power wall itself. Again, same Craftsman enclosure because I'm getting the same batteries. I'm going to build it over here. I have done a couple of changes. I have made four distinct uh, ventilation points. So each line of batteries will have its own ventilation point, which will go from the bottom to top. And that fan, that fan up on top of the power wall will draw fresh air through them i hope that was a lot of work to get those holes semi straight there's actually 288 holes um drilled through cleaned up and all that that took forever that's the one tedious job that i hated doing so follow me in this process of getting this power wall second edition done uh one more thing good progress on the uh, solar panels um i have spoken to many people and uh, throughout the subdivision attended the hoa meeting out of eight people on the board and the ninth member which doesn't member except at the tie there's only people that are against them I stand a good chance with a good explanation. There's a one engineer, electrical engineer, actually on the board. Um, and we will see what we can do. Uh, I think it's moving in the right direction. And I hope that I will be able to accomplish something in the near future. I hope in the next three weeks. See you guys later.